What does the honour mean? mean uh, no, look, it's a great honour. I know it's a very select group as well at the moment. Um, thinking a bit more about it today, knowing that I was going to come and answer some questions. I, these are the sort of things you wish you sort of don't ever get in, in, inducted into because I'd rather still be playing and <laughs> these things tend to happen, you know, when the, the older you get. But no, look, it's, it's great acknowledgement and thanks to Peter and the MCC for accepting me into, as I said, a group. I think it's still less than 50 um, mm. as part of the, uh, the Cricket Hall of Fame. So, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, to be honest, I haven't re reflected that much. I had a pretty good understanding of where my career was going right the way through my career and, um, you know, not so much about how many runs I've made or how many hundred I've made, but just how many um, winning games I, I was mm. a part of. And I think... You know, my longevity in the game and the amount of wins that I was um, associated with was the is the thing that I'm that I'm most proud of through my career. And just listening then, even you know, to, I think it was 200, 200 odd wins and out of the 320 odd games that I captained, you know, that's winning two out of every every three games that you play. So, um, you know, that's what the game was all about for me. It was about me trying to win games for my my team and and trying to empower others along the way to make sure they were doing their best to win games as well. So. Um, yeah, looking, but I mean, looking back now, it's, it's five years now since I retired. And it's gone pretty quickly, and here I'm back in the Australian colours again for um, this next couple of weeks. So it's, um, I mean, the whole journey was was one that I'm very proud of. But uh, yeah. you know, one that when you're part of it, you don't really ever have a chance to stop and look back because you, you finish a game or a series and you're getting ready for the next one, and, and the next there's one. no chance of reflection. So. Um, you know, but it was a, it was a good ride. No, look, I think it, it'll it'll just be good to get up there and acknowledge the others that, have, that, have, that are part of the, the Hall of Fame and, and just speak um, you know about how proud I am to be a part of that group. Think about you know a lot of the great memories from my playing days will come back. You know, I'm sure I'll see other players there on the night that have that are part of the Hall of Fame as well. The current team will obviously be there, and um, it'll give me a, a chance to talk about you know what what it means for me to be a part of that, but just what it means to play cricket for Australia as well. Um, you know, I talk about the Hall of Fame being a select group of giving the opportunity to play cricket for Australia as a select, a select group within itself. Um, and that's one thing that we always, you know, us older guys now, um, always ram home with the young guys coming in, just uh, how privileged you are to be playing and, and make the most of every moment. You know, I was only saying that to Alex Carey um, in the game down in Hobart the other night that I played for, you know, 20 odd years and it felt like 20 odd minutes. And um, so that's you know, how quickly it goes. But, you know, I was lucky to play in a, in a great era of, of um, a lot of successful teams and a lot of great players. And, um, so I had some special memories from sh for sure. Do you have the coaching been like scratching an itch for you? Like, has it been awesome to be back amongst the players? Yeah, it has. Um, you know, I got a little taste of it with the, the three games against uh, Sri Lanka last summer. Um, I obviously had a, a good stint at the IPL with Mumbai for a couple of years, and I'll be going back to Delhi again um, in March and, or April, May, I should say. Um, so look, you're working with some of the best players in the world, and um, so therefore it is always fun, and you get you get a good mix of youth and experience as well, and um, you know. You speak to the, the older guys and they've got their games pretty much under control and you speak to some of the younger guys and you realise that there's some work and need for improvement for some of them as well. So, look, I just like being able to share my knowledge and talk cricket with all the guys. You know, a lot of these guys, well, all of these guys love the game, obviously, as much as I did and, and to be able to sit down and, and talk to them about tactical things or technical things on the game is, is a lot of fun for me and hopefully they get some enjoyment out of it as well. Your, your retirement seemed, like in terms of what you went on to, seemed pretty seamless, like you had things to look forward to. What's the future hold for you? You know, you've started coaching. You know, in the Australian team, you've got a lot of interest outside of cricket. Where, what, do you know what you want to do in the next few years? I want to be involved in cricket where mm. I can. I mean, I, that's really all I know, to be honest. You know, that's all I've really done with my life since I was about twelve or thirteen years of age. You know, mm. I went to the academy as a fifteen-year-old and have been a, a fully professional cricketer from that moment until I retired and then I got back into working on commentary and. And I enjoy that side of it as well. You know, the Big Bash has been a, a, a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll have probably as many opportunities as I want to travel around the world and commentate as well. Um, so those, it'll be it'll be in and around the game. But you know, what I've sort of tried to do and the way things have worked out the last five years is just you know be around the T20 game because mm -hmm. you know, one thing I know there, the tournaments are you know, six or eight weeks maximum. Um, you know, I want to have as much family time as I can have as well. It's really that's really important for me, mm -hmm. having been on the road as much as I was when I was playing. Um, you know, I've got three children now under the age of 10 and I'm going to be around as much as I can with them, but still be as involved as I can. So, there, look, I'll have some challenges there making it all work, um, as I already have the last couple of weeks. Um, my wife's actually starting to feel the pinch again, me being back on the road a bit, but uh, look, that's, that's what I want to do and I, I really enjoy every moment of it. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we can, we can get a few more wins in the next few weeks and win something for Australia. Yeah, do, how do you reflect on like, the Ashes series that, that, you know, that didn't come through? Is, do, do, does it irk you or do you sort of have more the, the bigger picture of, you know, well, overall it was pretty bloody good. 
Um, oh yeah, look, overall it was great, but at the end of the day, you know, I didn't, I didn't captain a winning series in England, so that's one, you know, if you look through my, my CV, that's one area that would really stand out, and that does, that does hurt me, because it, that was what, you know, cricket's all about for me, and every young Australian now growing up is, is winning Ashes, uh, Ashes battles, and, and, you know, I wasn't good enough, and our teams were good enough to do that in 2005 and nine when I went there as, as captain, so yeah, look, it, it hurts you, but at the same time, you look back and know that, you did everything you possibly could as a player, mm. as a leader, and, and as a group of players to, to achieve those results. And you know, for us, most of the time it came off. Sometimes yeah. it didn't, um, and it just happened to be on my watch that it didn't on a couple of occasions. But uh, look, looking back, you can't change anything. And, and yeah. to be honest, I wouldn't want to change anything anyway. You, you learn um, you know, some pretty good lessons from, from not winning. Mm. You know, the way that we bounced back after 2005 and that that brand and level of cricket we played in the home series was, you know, I might be a little bit biased, but I think that's some of the best test cricket that's probably ever been played by that group, that group of players. So, um, yeah, 